What's going on, you guys? Claire, here. welcome back to the channel, Cook Commerce, and welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course. This is just a high-level overview on how to use Material UI inside of your React project. In this video specifically, we're going to be going over the list component in Material UI. So go ahead and to navigate here, it's going to mui.com/material-ui. Going down to the data display, and then the list component right here. So what I want to do first, go ahead and press if your menu's not open, Control B, and we're going to open up. A, um, we're going to go into data display here and we're going to create a new component. I'm going to call this a list example, JSX, just like that. Our AFCE is using these rich snippets and function to uh, create a functional component. And then we're just going to go into our uh, app.jsx here and we're going to add our list example component, just like that. Make sure you import it if it didn't auto import for you already. So start up your server, npm run dev. I'm using Vite.js. You can use any type of React library, Vite, Next, whatever. If you wanna see how to install Vite.js, I'll put a link to the first video down below. So really quite easy. So you can see our list example right there on the screen. All right. So lots of cool things you can do with the list. We scroll down here, um, lots of really cool functionalities and things you can add. You can incorporate icons, uh, dividers, uh, avatar images, and we're gonna get to those. This is cool. Uh, I'll show you how to use this click effect on here. Um, we also have a toggle button on this. So lots of really cool functionalities that you can use in here. Let's go ahead and get started with the most basic here. Let's go ahead and click on this show, show source code there. And what I'm gonna do is actually just copy all of this here. And I'm gonna import this here. And you guys, this is so, this is how easy it is to use Material UI. Again, I'm not gonna be writing anything from scratch because that's why we're using Material. So we can literally just copy and paste and then just edit whatever you need to edit. So I'll go ahead and save. And this should, right out of the box, it works for you. We already have that hover effect, so pretty cool. If you're building some sort of uh, application that wanted to have uh, messaging, capabilities you could add something like this instead of coding this out from scratch would which wouldn't take too terribly long if you're writing this html and or, or styling it with css could take 10 15 20 minutes depending on your skill level um it took me about 30 seconds because i just copied and pasted it so pretty awesome that's the the power of material ui uh scrolling down you can have nested lists so that's kind of cool if you want to nest like the start inside of your inbox there which is clickable um, let's see what all we need to do for that. Okay, it looks like it's using a function. I'm gonna copy this over. I'll just replace all these imports so I don't have to go through and see what I imported and what I didn't import. So let's see. Um, looks like we need some open state and also a handle click function. So this is just, this open state here is just gonna determine whether or not our menu is being shown or not. Right now, probably set to false true, false, true. So that's what that state is doing right there. And then the handle click is gonna be set on this button in here. So basically it's a, an event listener in React. So whenever we, uh, it's just listening to whenever this uh, element, this HTML element is clicked, okay? So let's go ahead and just copy over our list. This is all the JSX in here. And I'm just gonna paste it in there. Looks like we had a little space in there. There we go. So let's go ahead and save. See what we have here. Make sure we refresh, take care of the errors. So again, this uh, click event is actually listening to the entire element, not just the icon, I mistake. But this is how easy it is, you guys. Just with a copy and paste, how awesome is that? You can change this right here. So we have a, a nested uh, drop down in there just by copy and pasting. So that's really cool. Uh, folder list here. So it looks like we can add in some icons. Okay, that's kind of neat. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna copy this over here. So this is how easy it is, you guys, to use Material UI incredibly fast, as you can see. Um, so, you know, if you're trying to build something, uh, kind of find what uh, what looks similar to what you're trying to build, and then you can add in a little CSS and style these components as needed. But, I mean, how awesome, you guys, that's pretty cool. You can change the background color of these, uh, all sorts of different things with the sizing or with this SX property right there, just that styling property, um, background.paper. Let's see, and, and you can change this to, to whatever you want. Um, so pretty cool. Let's see here. 
again, had, adds in all your icons. Uh, if you want to use a different icon, looks like this is the image icon, that one right there. Um, we also have, we'll see one like a home icon, I believe it is. We'll have to import this one. Uh, I don't know directly right off the top of my head where it's from, so we'll just use this home service repair icon if you save. That's how we can change an icon uh, in here. So pretty easy. This is just the background color icon in here. It says has this gray color. So pretty nice there. You can change the max width. Uh, drop this down to 300, for example. You can't really see the background in there. You see it kind of changed a little bit, though. We hover. You can see right there, if you hover on it, it is 300. We'll hover again. Changed it to 300, so that's kind of neat there. Um, let's see what else we can do in here. Some of the other functionalities. Okay, this is fun. Kind of get into some lists here. Single line, enable dents. That's neat. Let's look at some of this here. I need to copy down all of these. Let's see. Paste this in here. Looks like we're probably gonna need one grid that's surrounding everything. Well, this one right here, close this off down here. Well, we just copy that down. Go ahead and save. Let's see how that looks. Might be getting some errors in here. Grid is not defined, so we just need to import a bunch of this stuff. Again, I'll just copy over everything so we don't get any errors. Um, so I need a couple extra things here. We'll just copy this open. There we go. Looks like we have just a little bit of state in here as well. Whoops, I think I pasted over something. Did I? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll get rid of that there. There we go. And all right, now for our state, we'll just copy over our state in here. Go ahead and save. Let's see how that looks. Cool. Just like that, you guys. Awesome. And you can customize this however, however you see fit. Just showing you how easy it is just to copy and paste and have this working with very little, very, very little configuration. So this is pretty cool. It has an avatar image. Um, I already went over avatar, so that's pretty neat. Let's see. Let's see what else we can use with avatar. So this one's cool. Um, maybe you're building some sort of blog or maybe like a chat application, perhaps. Um, can toggle this. Let's do this one again. So again, we'll click on this show source code. Let's go ahead and import what we need at the top here. Using some components we already went over, the avatar, uh, topography, divider. So let's see, we'll paste that in there. I'm just gonna grab this list. We'll grab everything in there. And let's go ahead and we'll get rid of the state there. We don't no longer need those. And I'm just gonna replace this outer grid element. We'll save. Let's see. All right, nice. Looks pretty good. Um, see, so right now it's referencing some images in here that we don't have. So it's gonna sh just gonna show this alt text there. Just shows the first initial. So if I were to say Clint in there, you can see it just shows the C. Um, if we wanted to use a an image in there, for example, I have an image in here um, that pulled over just a, a file in the folder called images then profile dash picture. So if we want to go back and import that, let's do that. So we'll, I'll say import, uh, I'll call it profile pick from images slash profile pick dot j pick dot jpg i believe make sure profile dash pick yep there we go and i'm just going to copy that and come down here to our source we'll delete that and we'll paste it in there like so so you can see this is how we add in a profile image so that's pretty cool um Again, you can use this on all of them, and this would be something that you'd be pulling in um, dynamically from from a database, for example. Whoops. 
So yeah, again, this is something you'd be pulling in from a database. You use like use effect up there or something where you, you retrieve uh, user data. So that's kind of cool. Let's see what else if we scroll down. Some list items here. Oh, basically that's something we just did pretty similar. Uh, so a switch, this is kind of cool. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy some of this over. So we'll take that here at the top. And this is something you can just kind of build upon uh, inside of your application. So it looks like we're gonna need a bunch of state in here. So let's go ahead and copy all of that in there. Copy it down our state, a little bit of logic, and we'll just grab that list. So we'll paste this in here. Let's have a look at that. Oh, there you have it. Look at look at that, you guys. Cool. Now you can toggle stuff. You guys, this is so awesome. Look, and again, you could you could style this out in straight up CSS. It would take a little bit of time, but just copying, pasting, this is how fast it is to to write some pretty cool stuff right there. So I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna wrap it up. Oh, you know what? Look at this, kind of going over the Firebase project. Let's see. Is that a lot of stuff to import? It is. It is a lot of stuff to import. Let's see. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can just copy this over, uh, looking like Firebase over here. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and import all of that. It looks like we have some data above our component, so I'll grab that. Um, I'm gonna delete all of this inside here. We'll paste this in here. Um, customize list. Let's see. That's all we need right there. Just a little bit of state. Let's save. Let's see. Let's see, a list of headers not defined. Where do we need that? Mm. Where's the list subheader not defined? Oh, you know what? I didn't copy down any of this. Duh. So let's just grab this box. Whole bunch of stuff in there. Copying the box and we'll replace this list. All right, there we go. All right. Copying and pasting. Let's see if it works. Look at that, you guys. Copying and pasting Firebash, kind of a play on Firebase. If you couldn't tell, this is their exact UI. Because look at that, just copying and pasting this. You can change this up as needed. This is how this is how powerful Material UI has a little hover effect on this button. Kind of rolls it over to the left. That's really cool. You have a little pop the down there, the little pop over. So awesome stuff, you guys. So I think that about, yeah, we're at the bottom here. That wraps that wraps up the list example here. Up next, we're going over the table example. So smash the like button if you feel like you got some value out of this. I'll see you on the next one.